Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to be looking at the attribute selector, um, an attribute that belongs to a particular element uh, we can use as a selector. And as an example, I've chosen to create a, a very short uh, but useful application which will apply functionality to all email fields. Now this is an email field on my page. I've, not, I've actually got a normal field here as well, just to demonstrate obviously the difference. Uh, I've used a selector to select all email fields um, or all input fields that have a type email. Uh, because I'm using HTML5, uh, you can see that I can use the type email, uh, which has some benefits over, uh, over text. Uh, has some front end validation but what we're doing is we're looking for uh, all um, fields with the type email uh, and then we're applying this functionality and this functionality is uh, a default uh, message uh, when we click on it this message disappears when we navigate away uh, this message comes back if nothing's been typed uh, this is something that's found on like the majority of uh, places you have to enter your email address uh, it might be a subscription to a newsletter at the bottom of your page or something uh, when I go ahead and type an email address in uh, and then navigate away from this or tab away from this um, we have the value uh, remaining uh, if we leave this empty we get this enter your email address back again so as well as going over this uh, particular selector uh, which has a wide variety of matches so you can go ahead and look at that in the jQuery documentation but we're going to look at how we can practically use this on our page so I'm going to go ahead and open my text uh, editor with uh, no code at all uh, and we'll start to write this out Okay, so I'm on to my index.php page. I'm not going to waste time writing this out, uh, but essentially all I have got is a name field here with the input type text, uh, an email with uh, an input type email, because we've just got these little labels on here, uh, and that will produce something like this on your page so we've got um, a field here and a field here I've also given this email field um, a slightly larger length just so we uh, can see the text inside of it by default so now that we've done this uh, we need to go ahead and include this selectors.js external file uh, and at the moment there's nothing in that uh, we're not going to be using style.css so I can go ahead and get rid of that um, so once we've included this, we can write, start to write some external JavaScript inside this selectors.js file, uh, and that's going to be selecting all input fields with the type email. So I'm going to show you how to do this, uh, and then we're going to go on to look at creating this short uh, but extremely useful application. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is wait for my document to be ready. So I'm going to use document.ready, and inside here we're going to have a function which we'll just bring down and we can start writing our code in here. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, set a variable with a default message that's going to be placed inside of this box. Uh, so we'll do that before we talk about selectors. Uh, I'm just going to call this email default and that's going to be please or let's just say enter your email address into your email address and it's worth uh, bearing in mind that the way we're doing this will apply it to every email field that you ever create as long as you have this selectors.js file on your page so we're selecting you know if you were to go ahead and include this functionality on your page as you go and perhaps create more email fields elsewhere uh, this functionality will still remain due to the way that we're selecting it so now we're going to go ahead and use our selector to um, set a value to this field and we initially want to set this to the default text that we've defined inside this variable so here's the selector part uh, we want to go ahead and select all input types uh, this just on its own here will actually go ahead and select all input types anyway but we want to define which uh, email type we want so we can say e input type equals and then in um, quotation marks I'm going to say email so now what we've done with this is we've successfully selected any input fields with the type email now it's worth noting that we could do absolutely anything we wanted with this and we could write it out with other elements as well for example if you had links and you wanted to select only links that had a particular uh, a particular href so a particular link you could go ahead and say a where the href is equal to, let's just say, google.co.uk. 
Uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but you might do. You never know. Um, you might want to turn the link into an image, for example, or something. But uh, essentially, we can use this with any, really any element. Um, I'm not sure which elements are included and not, or rather, which are not. Uh, but we can go ahead and use this with anything. Um, so that's the essence of uh, the, uh, you know, selector, uh, the attribute selector. So we can select any attribute from any different element that we want. Obviously, in this tutorial, we're looking at all input fields with a type of email. Again, if you wanted to, you could change this to all input fields with a type of text or all input fields with a type of password, etc., etc., etc. So in our case, it's email. Now, the first thing that we want to do is use the attribute uh, function or uh, whatever you want to call it to set the value of uh, this to our email default. So this will take two parameters. The first is the um, the value that you want to change or the attribute that you want to change and the attribute that I want to change is value and this changes what's what you can see inside of the box or inside of the input field and I want to change this to email default so we've selected all types or all input types of email and appended or given this an attribute value uh, with the email default so now when we refresh that text goes straight in there and notice it doesn't do it for name if we for, were for example to leave this as input uh, this will apply to all input fields on the page so you can see it's been placed into both of them uh, but we're using this selector for the reason we only want uh, emails to work 